Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the NCAA Gamer. Welcome back. We're up at Vortex Cards and Gaming on a beautiful Wednesday. Today we have Tim, and he has a cool deck to play. What are you playing, Tim? Uh, Trapper Gate Bird Up. So this is pretty much after the emergency ban list when they put uh, the Glitter Risk to two. Yep. And you decide to play it. Yep. Uh, this deck is really good. Uh, a lot of Fundry's players are running around right now uh, because of their statue bar uh, wind, wind statue. barrier. Yeah. So having an ability to special summon underneath that uh, statue really just throws them off. And most of the time they're going to side it out afterwards, after they see birds. Cool. So let's start with this deck profile. Alright. So for starting off the deck, of course, you have your Trapper Gate Monsters. There's got three Fractal, two Norval, two Keros, and two Kit. So the basic So there's uh, the basic. Type. Uh, usually you will run uh, three Norval, uh, but I decided to cut it down. Okay. Uh, just to make room for more of the Lyric Plus. Gotcha. Uh, next up with our actual Lyric Monsters, we have three Wagtail, two Canary, two Swallow, two Wobblers, and two Sparrows. Cool. Uh, these are actually really nice uh, thanks to the Tri Brigade cards. Uh, of course, you can use them for your link plays in the graveyard. Yeah, because they're all wing beasts, right? All wing beast, yep. And then also, uh, when we get to it, like Shuring, um, uh, Ominous Omen, uh, when it's sent to a grave, you can actually search one of these if needed, if you need to get That's a combo cool. started. That's busted. Uh, continuing on, we have 3DD Pro, uh, nice little hand trap. Uh, I think it's this is actually one of uh, the cards I like because you can, again, you can search it off uh, Omen, but also uh, it stops tears. It stops tears. Uh, also, uh, if you notice in the main deck, basically all wind, earth, and yep. fire. So beast deal cards are basically out. So the only targets they have in the main deck is DD Crow, and then also uh, the Fable Serial. Oh, so why are you playing this card? So this card is part of a combo that. Uh, you want to try to get, uh, I usually can get Caress and this into my hand. This card then special summon and off the effects, uh, bring this back. Oh, that's cool. That's so, really cool. So that's one of the little, uh, combos I go, I go into and you guys will see why when we get to the extra deck. All right. So speaking of the extra deck. Uh, oh, well, 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 we're not done with the main deck. <laughs> nope. That would not be crazy. <laughs> uh, for... Continuing on with spell cards, we've got three Lyriless uh, Bird Calls. Cool. Uh, I remember when this card first came out, this was like the $10 card. Yeah, $10 card. And, and until then, like when Lyriless got hit, it went to like two, three dollars. Yeah. Uh, then we got Fire Formation Tangy. It came back to three. I'm so happy. Yeah. This gets all, this is basically, you more start consistent. off with this. Yeah, makes the deck a lot more consistent. Uh, then we have, going into our two O's, we have two Talents. Two, oh, go ahead. two lightning storms and a little spice of the deck Ooh. to mistaken arrest nice okay so yeah i've been seeing a lot of people are playing talents but what's the idea for this so this card um when act it's better than draw lockbird in my personal opinion uh okay. you activate it your opponent uh your opponent cannot add cards to their hand except for drawing that's yeah and that's it's i don't have to wait for them to add a card right off the bat so this really you activate this against uh, Thunder players are basically going to have to skip their turn. Oh, pretty much, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, next up, one of the one of the spell cards. We have one Foolish Burial, one One for One, and a Call by the Grave. Yeah, it makes sense because uh, most Lyrus are all level ones. Mm -hmm. And the Foolish for Tri Brigade and the Call by Grace is Call by Grave. Yep. That one staple. So that's our spell cards. Next up is the Trap cards. Uh, getting straight to it. Of course, what we got to play, we play two Revolts. Uh, Usually people play one. Why are you playing two? So, uh, for me, being able to do it twice, yeah. no one sees it twice. Pretty much. Being able to see, you see it once, your opponent feels very comfortable. They're not going to destroy your back row. Gotcha. Um, and that's good. And that's basically why I play two. But to help that these stay on the field a little bit longer uh, when they're set, I also play... Two magical cylinder. <laughs> oh my god! And a quaking mirror force. Yeah, funny thing with the revolt. That's for me when I was playing uh, Despia Brandon Adventure. I played with two Draco backs because mm -hmm. it's all always surprised the person when I had the second Draco back. In my they hand. never expect the second one. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like to play two, even though it's like a one-off. Yeah. But um, okay. So reasons why these. You just for the memes. Uh, <laughs> 
I actually flipped uh, when I went to a case tournament up in Hinesville. Yeah, I heard you were dominating on that. Uh, I got top eight. Um, That's cool. And what my first game, uh, he had me. He had me beat. I topped like a matchable cylinder. I set it, and then I flipped it on him, and he killed himself. <laughs> That's so, pretty funny. So. You can say it's a bad card, but... It's never been a bad card. It's just, it, people it's just a hilarious. Yeah. Especially when you play the trap card with Magic Cylinder, Cannon, or something like that. It just yeah. does double damage. Ooh. Oof. Now going on to the extra deck. All right. Little, cool. A little spice. A little spice. So we have two Shurigs. Uh-huh. We have one uh, uh, Baron. 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 Uh, we have uh, Fergie. Yeah. Uh... Then of course we have our other usual candidates, uh, Double Dragon Lords, yep. uh, Doom Eagle, yep. Almirage, uh, and then of course our big links are Appalosa, Appalosa and Axis Cover. Okay, so what's with uh, this one, the Ray Raptor? So, so I usually, because with Tri Brigade uh, Lyrics, I usually see these as normal with this mm -hmm. and that. But what's the point with this? So it's a quick effect. I can target one card in your in my opponent's graveyard, and I can shuffle it back into your deck. Okay. So that makes sense. So with uh, Tyrannic cards, Asusia cards, even Despia, uh, I can just shuffle back your targets. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Would Would you play like um, IP Mascarina during your opponent's turn? Um. Because the problem know. with that. Um, the main the main problem I have with these three cards, uh, was I, there, I know they're not wing beasts. They're not wing beast, yeah. And then or beast warrior beast or whatever. And IP masquerade the board I use, I aim for and which I consistently get uh, doesn't revolve me needing an IP masquerade. Okay, that's cool. Uh, next up, going to our Xyz monsters. Nice. We have of course the brand new semi limited lyric plus. Yeah, uh, there we go. Styles. Starling this is really good. You can detach the material from it and then add a Wing Beast uh, monster level one to your hand. Yep. Uh, then we have, of course, uh, Sunlit Nightgale. Yeah. Uh, able to attack uh, directly. And of course, if you're playing that, you need to play Down Nerd Magician and whoops and, and, Zeus. and Zeus. Gotcha. Yep. There's the, like a little bit of your Zeus package right there. Yep. Uh, and most I've made with Zeus is like a ten material of Zeus. Yeah. With this. Gotcha. And then the final card uh, with the Sibril is Herald of the Arclight. I figure, because it's, it's still a broken card, because it's technically like a walking cosmos for yep. your opponents. So, um, just putting this up. Cerberus and Chaos. C Cerberus and Chaos usually um, makes it to me. Um, my usual inboard would probably be a two material Apollosa, Herald Arclight. Double Dragon Lord, and then I have a Revolt set. Okay. That's cool. going to that's gonna be usual end board. Do you want to do like a shuffle your deck and see what will happen when you have your starting hand? Sure, we can try that. Before the tournament starts, maybe you would never see that starting hand. Yeah, I'll never <laughs> see that starting hand ever, and it'll be just hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> So after seeing the emergency ban list, what do you think? Um, I think Flunder players are very happy. Uh, with the floodgates. Of... With the floodgates coming back out, the dimensional shifters, um, the dimensional fissures. Mark, I don't think Cosmos. Cosmos. I don't think Cosmos is that good because it is a slow card. Yeah, it takes two card. turn. Yeah, it takes two. Like, it takes your turn and then your opponent. Uh, you start your opponent's turn to activate it. Yep. So I think uh, D shifter and dimensional fissure is definitely good enough for Flunder players. Yeah. Because um, for me, I think like two is like fine at peak for me, but that's in my opinion. Because my upcoming deck, not until February when it's built, I'm playing two D shifters. Damn. So, start, D, no, fissure, yeah, fissures. So, let's see, our starting hand. Okay. Right. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Just don't get hit with Ash. <laughs> don't get hit with Ash. Well, well you, at least you have TT. You have TT. Yeah, I was say, you got don't TT. get hit with. Um, Draw, draw. <laughs> yeah, you get hit by a draw lock, but yeah, you're kind of screwed. So, Tang Fire Formation, that's going to grab you into a Fractal. Okay. Uh, you use Fractal Effect, pitching itself. This is just your usual combo. Yep. Sending a kit. Sending Narvel. This is the normal Tribal Gate stuff? Yeah, normal Tribal Gate stuff, and then you're going to grab Outcast. All right. Uh, we're going to use Keras Effect, pitching the Wagtail. Okay. Actually, no. I'm going to pitch this. 
Yeah. Finish that, special summon. Uh, we use the effect of chaos. Yep. Go ahead, we'll banish two. Okay. Rare Blossom. Yep. I'll uh, use the effect of it to special summon our Lyric Plus Wagtail. Cool. Wagtail effect will get you into a spell. What well, Link Launcher does uh, lock you into beasts or wing beasts? Uh, it will be Baron. Baron, okay. And that will get you the spell card. That will get you the spell card. There is called, okay. Uh, you'll go ahead and activate the lyric, lyric, uh, bird call. Yep. Now, the only problem with this is because I don't have another bird in hand. That bird I add, I would not be able to special summon. Got it. So we'll go ahead and grab out. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Shallow. Uh, like I said, you won't be able to special summon that, but you can special summon off Shallow's effect. Okay. Then you're going to exceed to the semi limited monster. Yep. Boom. Um, effect of this, you're going to pitch. Doesn't matter either one, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter either one. Okay. And you'll search the... Um, what are you going to search? Uh, a Lyris monster, right? Yeah, a Lyris monster. Where is the second copy of it? <laughs> okay, the, the gold bird, whatever his name is. Good night, yep. Uh... Okay. Um, uh, effect of Fair G. Shuffle. Yeah, draw okay. one. Go ahead, copy. Draw one, then put it into the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Ooh. Drew it to another yeah. risk. Put so, yeah, this one, Lightning Storm, will be even useful. Yeah, you, have, you already have a board up. Oh, I already have the board up. Then, we're going to use the effect of Rampage. Pitching two is a special summon out a banished wing beast monster. Okay. We get normal, normal effects. Because each effect is once per turn. Right. So you banish Keras? Yep. Oops, I don't know why you're doing that. And what else you banish? It's Keras and, and I banish one of the birds. Okay. For double dragon. Yep, dragon. Then we are going to go ahead and activate the effect of Canary. Yep. Actually, no, we can't. You can't? Not yet, because I need to get this first. <laughs> what a loser. What a loser. <laughs> misplay, misplay. Misplay, misplay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Judge, misplay. <laughs> and we're going to go into Shurik. Okay. Uh, this will get us now available to just special summon out Canary. Canary effect will give us another card. Yep. Well, first, let me I can do this right. Rare room <laughs> effect. This will search your Tropicate Freefall, right? Yeah, and then I'm going to put this at the bottom of the deck. That's right. Okay. And then that's set. So it's not the greatest board, but... It's pretty good because you got to... I got to bounce. Uh, of course, revolt and then a non target banish when I get the other one out. Yeah, so it's not the best. It's whenever when you special summon a wing beast monster while he's yeah. on the field, so you can Be still, you can still special beast, summon yeah. another wing beast and banish stuff. Yeah, but like I said, not the greatest. Uh, but also, when I link this off or my link off the uh, my do anything else, I basically just search another lyric plus monster, preferably yeah. uh, swallow. Okay, uh, just to be able to special summon it because I control the wing beast. All right, that's cool. Um, yeah, that is Tri Lyrilisk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, share, and comment, and I'll see y'all next time. Woo woo. Peace.